won the first two at Kauffman Stadium. Greg Brown along with John Weiner. And though the Pirates have lost the first two games, John, we keep hoping, but maybe we are seeing finally the Josh Bell, much of first half of last year, he put on the phenomenal numbers, especially in May. Look at the first two games of the series, and really the last five games, his hitting streak, he's being patient, he's hitting the ball hard. Yeah, I think the key was patience in the middle of that homestand before the White Sox series. You could see Josh Bell was seeing the ball better. He wasn't chasing pitches out of the zone. He was drawing his walks, and it's kind of carried over to this series where not only is he seeing the ball good, he's hitting the ball very, very good. A homer in each of the two games turned around 97 there into the gap the other way, using the whole field line to line and, and hitting with power. The Jimmy Johns freaky fresh take. Look at the numbers. By the way, how about this, John? Four swings and misses from Bell over his last five games. Only four. 17 swings and misses from his previous six. Yeah, that is key. And that goes to show you that he's not chasing the breaking ball out of the zone or chasing the changeup. He's seeing the ball and hitting it well. Adam Frazier also, though he's not necessarily hitting the ball far and crushing it, he's still getting his share of hits. He did have that home run last night. Yeah, nice to see. Normally when he swings the bat a little bit better, he starts driving the ball, creating a little more backspin, and we saw that last night. He turned around some velocity and hit a rocket out to right center field. Since August the 29th, covering 14 games, Look what he's done. 16 for 46, a 348 batting average, and a very strong OPS. That's what I was just about to say. You know, the average is up there, but just two extra base hits. But still, that OPS, he's driving in some runs, uh, getting more comfortable, and hopefully getting to where he has been as a Pirate average-wise. And Chad Cool had a... And the wrap for starting lineup also includes Kevin Newman, who's a, a big day game guy. You can see a 350 hitter. In afternoon games, Colin Moran will follow DHing again. Josh Bell, five game hitting streak. Gregory Polanco, we follow by Brian Reynolds and JT Riddle. Cole Tucker hits eighth. John Ryan Murphy is the Pirates catcher. Let's see if the Pirates offense can do something here for Derek Shelton's ball club that uh, is now 14 and 29 as Brad Keller delivers the first pitch. And a fastball that I know John's going to talk about. And one pitch, one out is Alex. Fastball slider throws over 61%. As you see, he's three and two with a 260 ERA with an average velocity fastball, 92, 93 miles per hour, and just a slider. And you know, and he gets some ground balls, but it's four seam fastball. They don't have an extra base hit against him That's this year. That Check out the Honda defense behind him. You've seen Merrifield and Gordon on the corners. Nick Heath starts in center. Kelvin Gutierrez, Alberto Mondesi on the left side of the infield. Nicky Lopez at second. Hunter Dozier at first. And Salvador Perez catches all three games. Just recently back off the IL. There's this, their first year manager. Whit Merrifield will lead things off. Alberto Mondesi, a career high nine game inning streak. He's homered in three straight games. Salvador Perez will be followed by Michael Franco, the DH. Hunter Dozier is at first. Alex Gordon bats in that sixth spot of the order. Kelvin Gutierrez, Nick Heath. Nicky Lopez for the 19 and 28 Royals. They've won five in a row. And Chad Cool with 338 ERA in his eight appearances, six starts, had a back down game his last time out, just three innings pitched. Back up this afternoon. Hopefully, get six more. Derek Shelton said that uh, Oscar Marine, the Pirates pitching coach.